let's take a look at the anatomy of the trumpet so we can understand how it works a little bit better. First we have the mouthpiece here, and we'll talk more about this in a later video. But the mouthpiece enters the mouthpiece receiver right here, which leads then into the lead pipe. And then the lead pipe goes directly into the main tuning slide. And you can pull that in to go sharp, push that out to go flat. And uh, we'll talk more about tuning again in another video. And then the tubing continues here until we reach the third valve. The third valve is the one that's closest to the bell. The first valve is the one that is closest to the mouthpiece. And the second valve is the one that's in between. And you'll also notice that each of the valves have a set of tubing associated with that valve. So the second valve has this tubing here, first valve, this tubing, and third valve, this tubing over here. So we call that the third valve slide, second valve slide, and first valve slide. And then the tubing continues and comes up here to the bell flare, and then all the way out here to the bell. There are uh, a few other things here on the trumpet just to associate yourself with. Here we have the water key, the main tuning slide water key, and the third valve slide water key. Just uh, open that out to let some of the condensation out. And then here we have the uh, pinky ring. And the pinky ring is for our, our right uh, pinky finger. And we use that whenever we have to change mutes quickly or turn the page very fast. Um, that helps us hold the trumpet with one hand. I don't recommend using it as you play because you can uh, cause excessive force against your lips, which can create some damage there. And then we have this thumb saddle here to help facilitate using that slide and this uh, third valve slide ring here also to help hold the trumpet and move that slide quickly. So those are just a few things to help you get acquainted with the anatomy of the trumpet.